NCIT. So students, in the last lecture, we will discuss about our example number two, which is a Stephen plate gutter design. Okay. So students, in the last lecture, we will discuss about our step number one and step number two, which is load calculation and shear force bending moment. So our step number one and step number two is remain same as example number one. Okay. So now let us start our example number second step number three. Okay. So a major difference in example number one and example number two is in step number three. So let us discuss which is the difference between example number one and example number two. So students, you can see that in the last lecture, we will discuss about our maximum shear force, which is generated at the support and it is 996 kN and maximum bending moment, which is generated at the center of the span. And it is 5976 kN into meter. Okay, so students, this is our maximum shear force and maximum bending moment. Now, we have to select it, a section in such a way that it restrains maximum bending moment and maximum shear force. If our selected section is doesn't restrain this maximum shear force and maximum bending moment, then we have to provide it some additional stiffeners and these stiffeners called as vertical stiffener as well as horizontal stiffeners okay so let us start our example number seconds step number three which is section selections so you can see that this plate gutter is our welded section this is not our rolled section okay basically what is the difference between rolled section and welded section so it is already discussed that rolled sections means means ready-made section which is available on the market and welded section it means we have to find out web plate size and flange plate size and with the help of bolting welding or riveting we have to join this flange and web and after that we have to design a new section and this section is not available ready-made in the market so this is our plate gutter okay so you can see that this is our web portion sorry this is our flange portion and this is our web portion okay so first of all this already discussed that our flange portion is restrained moments and our web portion our flange portion is restrained for moment and our web portion restrained shear force so first of all we have to decide a size of this green okay so this green line is our web plate okay so first of all in this green line there is two dimensions first one is optimum depth which is denoted by small d and another one is tw which is thickness of web so let us start our optimum depth of gutters equation will be always remain as mk upon fy raised to 0 0.33 okay now what is m m means maximum bending moment which is generated on plate gutter so it is 5976 into 10 raised to 6 this is 10 raised to 6 not 106 okay into k so students the difference between our example number one and example number two each is, is in the value of k so students please note down that if in the question there is a clear indication that you have to design for unstiffened plate gutter then you have to take the value of k is 150 if it is clearly mentioned that you have to design a plate gutter having transfer stiffener then you have to take the value of k is in the range of 180 to 200 
and the third type of example which is not discussed okay and it is you have to design for plate gutter having vertical as well as, as well as horizontal stiffeners at that time you have to take the value of k is equal to 250 okay so this is main three difference between the types of stiffeners provided and what is the value in the value change of k okay so this is our second type of example and it is when we have to provide it only transfer stiffeners at that time we have to provide it the value of k is 180 and the value of fy is 250 raised to 0 0.33 so you will get your answer 1510.55 it means you have to provide it maximum depth of 1510.55 so for buckling safety time we have to provide it our wave depth optimum depth of wave is less than this value so in this example we have to provide it a value of small d is 1500 mm now this is 1500 now what is this this is your thickness of wave so whenever there is no any clarification regarding the thickness of wave then you have to assume this value is in the range of 8 to 12 mm it is already discussed that in our example number one okay so in our example number one we have to assume that this is 12 mm so let us change in this example so in this example we have to assume that the thickness of wave plate is 8 mm so what is the dimension of this green plate so this is 1500 into 8 so you can see that the size of wave plate is 1500 into 8 mm now we have to check that our d by t ratio d by tw ratio is 187.5 it means this 187.5 value is greater than 67 epsilon this check is already covered in our step number four which is discussed in the later in this lecture so students this is our size of wave portion now you can see that this is our green sorry this is our orange portion orange plate name as flange so after calculating the wave dimension let us start our flange dimensions calculation so for flange portion first of all the area so the area of flange will be find out from this equation which is equal to m into gamma m0 divided by fy into d now what is the value of m m means maximum bending moment for which you have to design so it is 5976 into 10 raised to 6 into 1.1 which is gamma m0 which is your partial safety factor divided by fy which is equal to 250 into small d so your small d is 1500 so students after putting all this value you can see that your area of flange required to sustain this moment is 17529.6 mm square okay so this is the area of only one flange you have to provide it both the area in the same manner okay now what is this area this area is this is called bf bf means width of flange and this is thickness of flange so students our total area of one flange is bf into tf but we have the value of af which is 17529.6 which is calculated in the previous slide but we have both this unknown so let us convert bf is in the form of tf so you all the students are moved to page number 18 in which there is a section classification and for section classification you can see that it is outstanding element of compression flange portion and for that portion you can see that there is three class plastic compact and semi-compact and you all know that 
whenever we have to design for practical point of view then we have to start from lower class it means from semi compact to plastic sign but whenever we have to thinking about the gto point of view then we have to start from higher to lower sign so for plastic state our b by tf is 8.4 epsilon and our value of epsilon is always remain one okay because the epsilon's equation is 250 by fi raised to 1 by 2 okay so 250 by 250 which is equal to 1 so 1 raised to something which is equal to 1 okay so students you can see that our b is equal to 8.4 into tf so now you have to put down the value of bf is equal to 2b with the reference of page number 19 okay on page number 19 there is a first figure which is for rolled section in which it is clearly mentioned that you have to take the half value as b okay so you can see that after putting the value of b is equal to 8.4 into tf your whole equation is in the form of tf okay so after calculating all the data you can see that your answer of tf is 32.30 mm it means you have to provide it minimum 32 mm to resist 5976 moment okay so for safer side you have to provide it the thickness of flange portion is 40 mm okay now after finding out the thickness of flange portion you have to find out width of flange portion and this width of flange portion is find out with the help of 17539.6 divided by 40 so students you will get your answer 438.24 mm it means if you have to resist a maximum bending moment which is generated on plate cutter as 5976 kilo newton into meter then you have to measure your section in such a way that your flange size having the dimension of 500 mm into 40 mm and the wave dimension having the value of 8 mm into 1500 mm but this is not your final section this is your trial and error section okay so in the next step we have to check that our selected section takes maximum bending moment or maximum shear force or it is failed to resist this maximum shear force and maximum bending moment okay so students let us start our step number four so our step number four is indicated that our minimum wave thickness which is assumed as 8 mm is safe or not okay so you all the students are moved to page number 63 in which there is two checks first one is serviceability requirement so you can see that on serviceability requirement the portion b is given as when the transfer stiffness are provided then you can see that there is total four condition one two three and four okay so first of all your d by tw ratio is 1500 divided by 8 there is some mistake it is 8 then it is 187.5 this 187.5 is less than 200 so you can see that this is d by tw less than or equal to 200 epsilon and this condition is satisfied only and when your 3d which is greater than or equal to c greater or equal to d now what is 3d it means d means your optimum depth which is 1500 okay c now c is center to center distance between intermediate stiffeners okay you can see that this c is spacing of transfer stiffener it means vertical stiffener spacing is called as c okay so we have to assume this condition always okay so our condition will be safe for this condition now our second condition is compression flange buckling requirement 
so you all the students are moved to page number 64 in which a condition second is for when the transfer stiffness are provided and when the transfer stiffness are provided only one conditions are there and it is c less than 1.5d it means we have to assume always c by d ratio is 1.5 okay so what is the condition so condition is d by tw and our d by tw is 187.5 students this is 8 mm okay there is some typing mistakes so 1500 divided by 8 so you will get your answer 187.5 and this 187.5 is less than 345 epsilon and as per given condition your section selections for wave is also same okay so you can see that finally your thickness which is assumed by 8 mm is sufficient okay so students this is the end of our today's session and in the next lecture we will discuss about our selected sections take maximum shear force or not maximum bending moment or not our selected sections wave is pass in buckling or not okay so all the checks are required in the next lecture so students this is the end of our today's session thank you